She now set up in one setting, but me now waiting. Come they are switch, they tell me say in bed they do laundry. See my my gold patch from the laundry bag. Did you hear that? Did you hear Chiwe refer to Nelly as Suge's babe? Because who else would you have been calling Suge's babe? Why are you now saying that you did not know that it was Nelly? Chiwe, why are you lying? Why? One, two, three, four. Hey Betas, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Becker. I'm so excited to have you here. Now, if this is your first time coming across my channel, you are most definitely welcome. Please do well to hit on the subscribe button before you leave and also give this video a thumbs up, you know, right now or at the end if you enjoyed watching it, okay? And to my returning subscribers, you guys know I love you so much, but trust me, this is such a serious video and I would like us to just get straight into it, okay? Because to be honest, for the most part today, I have been pissed pissed at so many things for starters pissed that i can still not breathe i still can't i really cannot smell anything guys and it is frustrating me now, on top of that i'm thinking about the conversation nelly had with suj and just the things chiwe had said and guys i feel like just going straight into the house and you know just asking chiwe if she's joking like is this a joke to you are we a joke to you like the audience of the show what do you mean okay better calm down trust me a lot of things are pissing me off and i'm going to mention all of them in this video i have mentioned one and of course this is the second one now you guys remember i told you that i will come back to you you know after nelly has that conversation with chiwe because yes she said she was going to have the conversation you know based on the advice suj had given to her and guys she did she had that conversation but i am so pissed that we couldn't listen in on the conversation for ourselves. Like, we couldn't watch it because, for some reason, the cameraman thought it would be nicer for us to be in the gym. Yeah? You know, watching Dimba Dewey boys working out. I mean, they felt like it would be okay. It would keep our minds at ease. And, guys, I was so angry because this is one conversation that I really, really wanted to listen in on. But anyway... Anyway, Nelly was having a conversation with Suj. Of course, Suj, who had advised her in the first place, was asking her, you know, how it went and all of that. And from everything she said, she had mentioned that she was said that she didn't know it was Nelly that, you know, found it in her laundry box. Hold on. That's not all. That's not what pissed me off. The fact that she said that when Suj had now told her, that it was Nelly. She then kept quiet and didn't say anything any further. That's such a blatant lie. Because if I wasn't awake that night and you come and say all these things, I would say, oh, okay, maybe the blogs are just making it up. But you know, the funny thing is, for some reason, my mind just kept telling me, better don't delete that clip. You see that clip that I put at the beginning? That was a part of the conversation. And you see, when she said this thing to um, DJ Flo, when DJ Flo was asking her, she was like, Suj, babe. At this point, Suj had already handed her the jewelry pouch and had left there. So at what point did Suj now come back to you to now start telling you that you now kept quiet? Like, she will stop it. Like, it is irritating. This is no longer funny. I get that you're trying to give us different types of content, but you see lies? <sighs> Trust me, they don't work. Nelly told Suj, that when she found that pouch, right? When she found it, because according to Nelly, she had not washed her clothes in about a week. And so that night, she decided to do her laundry. Now she was trying to put the clothes in the washer. And for some reason, she found the pouch there. She didn't even know who had the pouch. There was no name on it to say, oh, once you see the pouch, you will know it's for Chiwe and all of that. So out of curiosity, she opened the pouch. And upon opening the pouch, what she found in there was a name and phone number. A name, Precious. That was the name she saw in there. And, you know, for her, she felt like, oh, this might belong to them, Ndi Nepe. Maybe they forgot it. Because according to Nelly, one of the Ndi Nepe's, one of their bags, you know, had that tag, Precious. She has seen that name before. So she just assumed that it was probably for them, Ndi ne. You know, and so she had called Suj like, oh, I don't know who has this thing. I think it's for them, Ndine. But then again, take this thing and help me create awareness in the house. You know, just help me announce it so that the owner of the pouch and, you know, whatever jewelry is inside. Because according to Nelly, the jewelry inside was not even gold. It was just a regular copper earring. A regular 
copper earring. And I was here asking myself, better you not get good. Shut up. You just say that they lie. That they lie for the house. See, not let person pressure you. If not fake, you get wear around. We are around because Nelly now said it was just an ordinary earring that was inside, like an ordinary copper earring. Now, tell me why the next morning, you know, after all that raking, you had raked and raked, you know, you have said, oh, okay, if you're even saying that you didn't know it was Nelly, Suj told you that Nelly found it in her laundry bag as she was doing laundry. Nelly found it in her laundry bag. Now, she didn't wash now, when you were walking into the room, guys, I have I have evidence. And if Ebuka needs clips, I have. When she was walking into the room, she was at that, you know, at the entrance of the door. And she was like, I'll be small picking. I'll be just know it's how they talk. Go job here for your joy, for your, your laundry bag. You not shock you. I said, I'll be small picking, I'm going to carry gold they pay. Thief. She was literally referring to Nelly when you were speaking to DJ Flo. She had asked you who you were talking about. And you said, Suj's babe. For crying out loud, even a blind man can tell that the only person Suj is with in that house is Nelly. So how come you're telling Nelly now that you did not know that she was the one? Not only that, that you kept quiet after Suj had told you it was Nelly. <coughs> Bruh, you are lying. You are lying and it is stressful. And at this point, Ebuka, please, can you play the clip for her? Because this is too much. This is too much. For me, it's all a setup. I told you people that this thing is a setup. Because the next morning now, Nelly also mentioned it all, that the next morning, Ruthie went to that pouch and removed her own earring. So why was it there in the first place? Why? Why was it there? And you know what is even peace? You see, I'm peace for so many reasons. There was a time Nelly was trying to have that conversation. I think she was trying to have it with TJ or somebody in the lounge. She was trying to talk about the main root of the problem she's having with Ruth and Chiwi. And guys, the camera went away again. We did not watch it. The camera did not show us. So in my mind, I'm like, I don't understand. I don't understand because now I'm even more confused than I was before because... At the time when the camera even showed us Chiwe and Nelly trying to have that conversation, all we now heard was Nelly saying, okay, I'm sorry. You're sorry for what? Because obviously we're not talking about the jewelry again. So they might have talked about other things that they are dragging that we don't even know. Because she was like, okay, I'm sorry. You know, like, you know how you just say, I'm sorry, like no vex, that kind of thing. We didn't hear the conversation. And then, of course, Chima was like, it's okay, Nelly, it's okay, it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. We should know what you people are talking about. That's why we're analyzing the show. It's paining me. Because I really waited for this conversation. Then to top up my anger again, I'm seeing you guys coming to me to ask me, better please, can you, you know, throw more light on the Mbadiwe conversation with Femi? Were they really, you know, calling Femi um, type of names and all of that? Were they really, like, guys, I'm not going to speak on this again, okay? I understand that the Mbadiwe boys are too much in that house. Like, sometimes they feel like they can advise everybody and it pisses me off sometimes. You know how you just feel like, now we be the baba of the house? I understand that they come across like that sometimes and it's not okay. But then you not go blame them because now the housemates, now give them those power. So they feel they do say, oh, anything we say should fly. I can understand that. But then trying to make it look like the Badiway boys were sort of saying nasty things, you know, sexual things you know, about Femi sister, talking about, you know, defiling and not defiling. I don't want to hear it again. Because from the onset of that conversation, it was Femi that started it. It was Femi himself that brought his sister into that conversation. Talking about how they go strap the Badiway boys, say they go nap them, they go even draw their beer beer. He said it himself. So then I talked about the one, the strap on thing that my sister will knock him back with the strap, him and his brother and hold their beer beer like that. Now that one, they can't say, I think I'm traumatized, blah, blah, blah. I say, no. The Badiway boys were repeating the same joke to him. Now you're giving a joke, you cannot take it. You can't. And I'm seeing everywhere on the internet, people now saying, oh, 
Then by the way, boys are doing this, they are doing that. Like, no, don't do that. It's not fair. It's not okay. Femi himself, okay, he ranted outside. Guys, that night I was so pissed at Femi. Like, you ranted outside. TJ stood up, came into the game area, asked Ozzy, Ozzy, what are you dragging with Femi? Because he's outside there ranting. And Ozzy's like, uh, uh, why is he outside there ranting? I mean, if he has any issues with us, at least come to us and speak to us. Why are you trying to give a narrative that might not even be true at the end of the day? After that time, I'm expecting Femi to come to him or at least approach him and his brother. Femi did not do that. Femi went upstairs. DJ Flo was there. Chizoba was there. One of the girl twins was there. I don't know if it was Handy or Wani. One of them was actually there. Ben was literally lying down in between Chizoba and the twin girl. Right? And Femi was talking. Like, I don't like it. Um, nobody say, I be, if, if I crack joke, if you don't like I make Chizoba attack me back. His only argument there was, no, don't bring my sister inside. Even if you want to attack me, attack me back. Don't bring my sister inside. Come on. Don't do that. You started the gist. You brought your sister. And you know, after the whole raking upstairs, I don't re even because Ben was putting fire. I told you people this thing that day. Ben was putting fire. And this is by the way, boys. And they'll be doing as if they are the lords of the house. They'll be doing as if it's everything that they say that we must take. If not me, I don't mind strike. Oh, I go give them my mind. I say, see you. You go give them your mind. I've never really seen you have conversations with those Mbadi way boys. So it is okay for you to have your reservations towards them and, you know, not want to speak to them about it. But trying to use Femi to get at them did not make any sense to me. And Femi actually fell into that trap. My own name. I think it's just my own tongue. Don't get because... I'm not, I swear, I'm not, I'm not afraid of strike. Oh. Because he was like, ah, me too. I know they fear strike. Oh. I, I know they use my family play. I know they use my family play. Baba was raking. So when I saw him going downstairs to go and meet the twins, I thought in my mind, like, finally, you are going to face them and just tell them how you are feeling. This guy goes downstairs and the tempo of his voice drops from 100 to 20. In fact, 19. And I see people as my big brothers. You know, I see people up there, you know. So me, I just felt like you shouldn't have brought my sister into it. I'm like, guy, what is this? This is how I see you guys. I see you guys like older brothers and all of that. Like okay, these boys are asking you, but Femi, wait. You're saying this thing like we just brought your sister into the conversation. That's not what happened. And you know it, Femi. You were the one that brought your sister. You said this, you said this. And this guy accepted that, yes, I said it. But then it was not just okay that they were the ones now saying it. It was even you that brought up the, the fire that struggled with. Because I would have, I can never go, I can never ever say something like that. And it was at that point that Osi now said, okay, but look at what you are doing now. You are saying that uh, you don't want your sisters to watch this kind of content on the internet. You are saying that it's not okay. But you know that in this house, the people that we're close to, the people that we see as our sisters, are the checkers pair, Onyeka and Chizoba. But look at the things you were saying about Chizoba. Do you think that her own family will want to watch it? Or we that we now see her as our sister. Do you think it was okay? So now that we now brought back your sister into the conversation, you're getting pissed. It's not okay. Now, after a lot of back and forth, they actually apologized to Femi. Femi apologized to them as well. Because it was for me, pure miscommunication. Oh, I, I can joke with my sister, but you don't do it. And they quickly understood that and said, okay, you know, we should respect boundaries. We're sorry. And all of that. And they hugged. The three of them. So how come I'm now hearing it again? Saying the boys, by the way, boys, uh, that sexual joke, you know, defiling. Like, come on, guys. Let's not do that. It's not okay. And I'm so pissed because some of you have sent me DMs, like, coming to ask me, but better. You know, I heard this. I watched this. Like, come on. If I don't watch something, you people will know that I did not watch it. That, that other day that I know, you people will say, better. We mm, you know say so you don't watch out today. You know, they tell us, you know, you know, you know. I mean, that's because you know me. So if I'm telling you that I listened in on a conversation from start to finish, I did not even watch that their joke, oh, so I don't even know how bad it was. But that conversation, the whole conversation from outside, it started in the garden. Femi was shouting in the garden. Then he went upstairs. Before he now came downstairs. And even the, the way, boys were asking, but you could have come to us now. Why are your guys now? 
we they joke, we they enter ourselves normally now. For just come meet us first before going out to, you know, start talking about it. He now said, no, you know, I didn't know if I could just come to you, you know, to talk to you about it. I didn't know. And then all of a sudden, I'm hearing a different, an entirely different story on the internet. Now, that's not okay. That's not okay. There's times when me and me and they argue for here. I go talk to someone, I go counter me. It doesn't mean that you guys are wrong. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. It just means we see these people in two different ways. But twisting the talk is not okay. Mm -mm. Nobody should send me that DM again, please. Like, cause it's just pissing me off. The fact that I can't even breathe. And you people are coming to stress me about something that I have told you that I watched it. I watched it. I listened in on it. It was after the Femi hugged and all of that, then we started hearing Chiwe shouting. Almost immediately. And then even Ruti and Mayo were downstairs. We're like, uh, I'm waiting to happen this midnight, Seth. Because it was a lot that night. Chiwe, they lied. This one to come. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Anyways, on a lighter note, guys, Nelly was speaking to Ben. Abi Ben was speaking to Nelly. And he was telling Nelly that Toby Ford came to him and asked him to, you know, leave Chizoba for him. And I'm like, Ben, why are you even telling Nelly? You have issues with almost everybody in the house, but you will be using laugh to cover it. If he said that thing to you, why didn't you counter him? Say, guy, you're mad, you're crazy. No, follow me, talk down. Why are you now coming to call Nelly by the side? Why? You don't tell Toby for dear. Say, guy, I go punch you. You won't call him my babe. You don't talk that one. No. You can't they call tell Nelly now. Say waiting. And to be forged, Kelly Ray has already said it, yeah, that Toby is just after a relationship. He just wants to be in a pair by fire by all means. Any which way. Just wants to be in a ship. He doesn't say Cassia no and Sarah. Cassia no and Sarah to the no fear and Sarah many times soon. So he just wants to be in a ship. And then now he's going for uh Chizoba. But you this say Ben. Now you open your mouth, talk off stairs. Say you cannot be with Chizoba because you have a babe outside. And then they came out and they told us in their interview that Ben had come to her, Chinne, that's auntie, that Ben had come to her to say, oh, he cannot be with Chizoba because Chizoba, they behave like village gay. So Ben, please, can you tell me how I can believe you? Because I don't really know. But let's say you, they instigate things for that house. You, they instigate. You, they instigate. And that is... Guys, please let me know what you think. I'll be more go find what I go do to this my nose. Guys, I've drank all the ginger tea that I put say nothing. No, I know they smell any time. I don't use inhaler, I don't inhale tire. Nothing. This nose, not they even inhale. I not feel inhale, I not feel exhale. Well, 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 hey, go. I'm tired, guys. I am I'm tired. So let me know what you think in the comment because at this point, eh? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm.